What's going on guys? It's Jason, your online personal trainer again, back with another video. We are actually upstairs today in the little office that we made, which is essentially just a laptop on a desk, a fan, and then sometimes I sit on this BOSU ball so my hips don't get too tight, avoid the back pain a little bit, and then usually when I'm working on the computer, I will stretch out on this mat to keep my hips loosened up. So that's just like a, another little life hack for you if you sit down for a while. But let's just jump right into this. What we're gonna be doing today is going over the two different types of carbohydrates, simple and the complex. And then we're gonna go over examples of each one. But firstly is the simple carbohydrate. The simple carbohydrate is a fast digesting carbohydrate. Its fast digestion rate makes our pancreas produce more insulin. This rise of insulin can produce a couple of different things. It can increase the rate of fat loss and it can make you crash a couple hours later. They'll usually call this simple sugars or empty calories. These type of foods will provide a very low satiety for how much volume that you're getting. If you were to eat one Snickers bar that has 280 calories, there's a good chance that you'd still be hungry. Versus something like a complex carb or a sweet potato, you would be getting a lot more food and you would get a lot more full from those foods. So now we go into complex carbohydrates. Complex carbs digest a lot slower. These foods are usually a lot higher in fiber. These complex carbohydrates should make up about 85% of our carbohydrate intake. We really shouldn't be eating too many carbs regardless, so we have to make the carbs that we eat higher quality. This will provide us with more energy and will provide us with a much easier time when we're dieting. Complex carbohydrates usually provide more vitamins and minerals, while simple carbohydrates are usually a lot less in nutritional value. Now, I just wanted to go over some examples so we can start to differentiate the two. In simple carbohydrates, they're going to mostly be candies, ice creams, Twinkies, things of that nature. While complex carbs are more of the higher fiber variety, where we have oats, vegetables, and even into the pasta, breads, and rice. Now, I kind of made a line here in complex for the gluten ingredients. A lot of people don't react well to gluten. If you find that you've been having headaches, stomach pains, having trouble sleeping, you may be having too much gluten. Me personally, that stuff really bothers my stomach. It makes me very tired. I try to limit the simple ones as much as possible because they really don't provide any satiety. And on a final note guys, you can definitely live your life in moderation. Have your days where you plan on having a little bit more food than usual. It's really not gonna do that well for your body. You, even if you feel pretty good eating those foods, if you were to fix your diet, you would be even better. You would perform even better. You would get a lot more things done. You would have even more energy. So if you're thinking now, I don't have to worry about it, there's two things I have to tell you. First thing is that it's not going to affect you right away. It may take a little bit of time to go by. I remember a good period of time where I, was, I started having pasta again, and after about four months of having pasta, my stomach started to bother me. I started to get headaches, and these things were slowly kind of creeping up over time. Once I cut out the pasta, it went away almost immediately. It has to do with those. You're also going to start to see a lot more improvements on a visual aspect. For people who don't know, if they don't follow me on Instagram, I've been trying to get a little bit more strict with my diet in order to sharpen up the way my, I look, in order to look better on video, Instagram, YouTube. And for me, I really found that after just a few days of going into that complex carbohydrates, eating a lot more fat, eating a lot more protein, that I'm already seeing a huge difference. And I'm very, very excited for the next eight weeks to come. So that's gonna be the end here. I really hope you guys found this helpful. And if you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section below. We're going to be having that website out, so make sure you check us out. Follow us on Instagram and be interactive. Let me know what kind of questions you have because I'd love to help.